Hey guys, hey, it's Greg Sable with Zabelite, launching another new product. This is a cool one. But first, I want to thank everyone over the last four years that's been buying our products. Without you guys, I'd be nowhere. And for those of you that don't know me, I work as a DP, lighting director, I do the studio installs, I do the consulting, the marketing, and I bring new product to life. Let me talk about what we've got here. This is going to be our silverback line, SB160 bicolor. And what we have here is a brand new Fresnel, really designed for field use. I wanted to make a really good bicolor location light. In our panel sales, bicolor has been the winner by far. Why not have the perfect complement to your panel light with a durable location for now. Uh, one of the things I like to do is a shake test uh, to see how solid things are. And uh, this, this baby is rigid. It's also very light. It's still a metal alloy frame. Plastic end caps comes in at 10 pounds the way you see it right now. So the key features on this is it's got a touch screen, but it also has the manual dials. Uh, this light will quickly dial color temperatures from 3000 all the way up to 8000 Kelvin. The sweet spot where you have your brightest light is right at 5600. I know everybody kind of likes daylight. I like shooting with daylight. So the smartest thing was to maximize the brightness right at that peak daylight color temperature. Now a few other things on here. Uh, it is DMX. It is 5 pin. Uh, we've been rotating over to 5-pin, especially for field location. Uh, I mean, it is the standard. The SB160 has a 60-degree flood and a 25-degree spot. Well, now that you've seen some of the key features, let's talk about CRI. This gets a rating of 94. Uh, what I was going for really is a light that looks natural, that looks good on somebody's skin or looks good on whatever you're lighting. So CRI is one of those things that's sometimes used as a catchphrase. There is no perfect CRI. If, there, if someone says it is, that may mean in a point value, but on screen is really what it's about. And I feel that this light gives you a good natural look, tungsten or in daylight. You guys, I've turned out some of the lights so I could show you some of the quality light reproduction of the SB line from Zabo Light. Now one of the things I wanted to show you was the lights on full flood and the ability to cut this or create a shadow. The other things I wanted to show you are the outer edges of the light. Uh, it usually doesn't make it on camera, but the evenness of the light from center to the outside is smooth all the way across and the edges are fairly smooth. Many LEDs you get cross hatching because there's so many uh, diodes on the array it can create a lot of shadows. So the quality, when I talk about quality, what I'm talking about is the smoothness of the light, the evenness of the light uh, as it projects on your subject or uh, image. As I start to spot the light in, as you can see, it's, it's got a nice smooth range. It's still fairly even across the center to the outer circle and the edges are still nice and soft. Now of course when you go to spot you're focusing all the light to the center so therefore your center is going to get hotter than your outer edges. So check it out at zabolight.com.